in my last video i explained uh, the concept of opposition and how to use opposition to win and draw in an end game uh, in this video i'm going to explain uh, some examples which goes which uses the concept of opposition so the first uh, example is when when you have a rook pawn against a defending king now let me tell you the rule if you have a rook pawn and the defending king is controlling the queening square then it's a theoretical draw you cannot win this if you have a rook pawn against a lone king placed in the queening square of the pawn even though your king is in front of the pawn and you have the opposition you cannot win black will never give control of the queening square to white and white can never make any progress well of course if black is foolish enough to move his king out of the corner white can win in that case but unless black moves his king out of the corner uh, white cannot win so let's see uh, h4 king g8 king g5 king h8 h5 king g8 h6 king h8 king g6 king g8 h7 king h8 and white cannot make any progress if white goes to f7 black king will simply capture this pawn if white king goes to h6 then it's a stalemate white black has no moves so it doesn't matter what white plays it doesn't matter who has the opposition it doesn't matter anything that white does because it's a draw because black king will never move out of these two squares so let's see a different variation let's say instead of h4 black uh, white goes king g6 then king g8 king f5 king h8 so the black king simply dances between these two squares h4 king g8 king f6 king h8 king f7 king h7 and king f6 king h6 king f5 see black has the opposition now king h5 king f4 and king into h4 so if after king f7 if king h8 if white goes king g6 then king g8 h5 king h8 h6 king g8 h7 check king h8 and it's a draw so the thing is that this is the queening square and black king will never let go of the square and white cannot win so when you have a rook pawn you have to ensure that the defending king is not on the queening square so if possible try to run with your king and get control of the queening square first before your opponent does because if your opponent gets in gets into the corner it's it's a dead draw now let's see what happens when the pawn is not a rook pawn in this case this is a central pawn and uh, let's see if white can win this game or not many people get stuck here and uh, they are not able to win because they don't know how to proceed within this position now the rule is when the stronger side's king is in front of the pawn then the next question to ask is who has the opposition if the stronger side has the opposition then he can win if the weaker side has the opposition it is again a draw in this example it is white to move so black has the opposition hence the game is a draw most people think that this is winning for white but it that's not the case white can only win when his king is in front of the pawn and he has the opposition if you still don't know what is an opposition i highly recommend you watch my previous video on opposition i will place a link of that video in the in the description below so please check it out and understand what is opposition otherwise if you don't understand what is opposition then you will not be able to grasp this lesson correctly so in this case it is black to move and uh, it is white to move so white to move ha that means black has the opposition so white moves king e3 and uh, black the the game of black here is to simply maintain opposition if you are defending a king and pawn ending against a lone king and if you are black in this position your only job is to uh, maintain the opposition so so when i click this see it's showing that the right move is king e5 so black can only maintain the opposition by king e5 see so the system is showing me that king e5 is the right move any other move will lose opposition and the game so king e5 and the system is showing that d4 is right move d3 is right move king d3 is right move so let's say white plays the best move which is d4 
then again see any other move any move by black in this position will allow him to retain the opposition it doesn't matter if he goes king f6 or king f5 or king e6 king d5 he can retain the opposition because after his move it is white to move and then depending on what white plays black can choose to retain the opposition so if black goes uh, king f6 for example then white's natural reply is king e4 let's see yeah so king e4 and then again black is maintaining the opposition by king e6 so after king e4 see the system gives that there is only one move that saves the game which is king e6 which maintains the opposition if you if you are if you are like casual and play king e7 you will lose because what will happen is after after you play king e7 then what will white do white will simply gain the opposition see it's showing in green so after king e5 white has the opposition and black loses right so now white has the opposition and black will lose it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what you play if you go here i'll go here and black will lose see again white has to be also very careful and this pawn cannot be stopped it doesn't matter what black plays right so after king e4 so after here it's simply queening you can't stop promotion okay so after king e4 the system tells that king e6 is the move to maintain opposition king e7 and you're lost so always maintain opposition if you're defending now d5 check now you can go king e7 because see now you have more options you can also go king d6 king d7 because it allows you to maintain opposition so king e7 is the correct move king d7 is the correct move king d6 is the correct move so let's say he goes king e7 if he goes now what is white's white to move white can play any move because black is defending so let's say king f5 then king d6 or king d7 also works so king d6 then white has to come back king e4 and then again king e7 king e5 king d7 d6 now what does black do the rule is the rule is if you can't move to the sides always go back always go one square back any other move will lose the opposition the rule is if you cannot move to the side of the pawn always go back so here this is the right move which allows you to maintain the opposition king d8 now king e6 now again what do you do if you go king c8 you lose the opposition always if you are defending maintain the king right next to the enemy king and maintain the gain the opposition by king e8 okay king d5 what do you do in this case it's simple you play king d7 and maintain the opposition see you can also maintain the opposition by king d8 but king d7 is more better white cannot make progress king e5 again king d8 or so see king d8 is the only move here if you play king e e8 then you will lose so let's see what happens if with king e8 king e8 and white gains the opposition see the green thing shows that this this is a winning line so you king e8 and you're lost black is lost you play this and then simply this and black has to go here and then it, it will queen so king after king e5 remember the rule if you cannot go to the side always go one step back not corn not diagonally but vertically back and you will be able to retain the opposition king e4 king king d7 so all these moves are correct uh, king d5 and again you can't go to the side so always go one step back king d5 king d8 king c6 always move to the side of the king if the if the pawn and king are aligned in the same rank you as a defender should always go to the side so the move is king c8 then d7 and then what do you do do you go to b8 no you block the pawn if you go to d8 then it queens and you lose the game so you go to as a defender you go to the d8 and white will either go to 
d6 and it will be a stalemate or he will play any other move and black will capture the pawn so let's go to the starting position in a king and pawn lone pawn endgame when the pawn is not a rook pawn and if the king is in front of the pawn the rule is it depends on who has the opposition if the defending king has the opposition it's a draw if the if the attacking king has an opposition it's a win so you can only win if you have an extra pawn which is not a rook pawn and you have the opposition so continuing from our last example in this in the last example we saw that black uh, it was white to move so black had the opposition but in this case we are reversing it it's now black to move so white has the opposition so the rule is the king is in front of the pawn and he has the opposition so white can win this game now the rule for white it's not easy many people blunder and many people are not able to win this because they don't know the rule the rule is when your king is in front of the pawn the king is in front of the pawn you have the opposition then the rule is you have to move your king in the opposite direction to where your opponent moves his king it is black to move so the black will move king in one direction either he'll go left or right or he will go vertically below if he goes left you go right if he goes right you go left so let's say if he goes here then you go here if he goes here you go here okay and then if he goes here one step backwards you go here one step forward so always remember the rule if your king is in front of the pawn and you have the opposition and it's a non-rook pawn and it is your opponent's turn to move he will move his king in either left right or backwards if he goes left you go right if he goes right you go left if he goes backwards you move forward so let's see how it goes king d6 king d4 he went back you went forward king c6 he went left you go right king d7 so he came back in the center you you also come back in the center gaining the opposition it's very important one wrong move and you will lose the game or the, uh, your defender will be able to draw king e7 he goes right what do you do you go left king e6 this is tricky now what do you do right now you make the pawn move d4 so let's go back let's go to the trick king when you when both the kings are on the same rank then you have to make a pawn move so that when your opponent moves you can gain the opposition by king c7 so let's see what the system recommends after king c7 king c6 king e6 let's see what the system recommends the system recommends only one king move for white which is this which allows him to maintain the opposition the system recommends this is the right move this is the winning move okay so d4 king e7 and then since he went one step backwards you also go one step like this king e6 king c6 king e7 you can also move this pawn d5 king b8 now what do you do he brought his king right in the line of the pawn you will also bring the pawn king right in front of the pawn gaining the position king e8 king c7 he went right you went left king e7 again both the kings are in the same line now it's time to push the pawn d6 whenever the kings are in the two in the same rank separated by one square that is the time you want to push the pawn which allows you to gain the opposition because now after the pawn push he has to move the king and the moment he moves the king you gain the opposition king e8 and in this position you don't even need to gain the opposition because the pawn has reached the seventh rank and you are controlling the queen square so in this case you don't even have to play king c8 you can simply push d7 king e7 and d8 queen let's go back to the starting position king d this is the starting position so king d6 king d4 
what happens with king b7 and then king b5 king b8 if you keep going backward what do you do you keep going forward until he can't go backward now he's on the edge of the board he's on the edge of the board and he cannot go any back and he has to move to one side king e8 push the pawn king f8 push the pawn king e8 now you you need to control you need to go here king c7 now you are controlling the queening square and nothing can stop this pawn okay so this end game requires some some calculation and you can only win this when your king is in front of the pawn and you have the opposition so always if the king goes left you go right if the king goes right you go left if the king goes back you go forward uh, if the king if both the kings are on the same rank you push the pawn it's very important if you follow these rules you can you will always win this game if you have the opposition if you don't have the opposition then it's a draw and no matter what you do if your opponent is not stupid enough you will not be able to win so i'll, I'll repeat this for your reference one one more time king b6 king b4 king c6 he moves left you go right king d7 he brings his king to the line of the pawn so you will also bring your king to the line of the pawn maintaining one square between your between the king so in this position do not go to here you can also go here it doesn't make much difference but the right move is this king e7 king c6 he went right you went left now king e6 both the kings are he's trying to trick you both the kings are in the same rank so now the time is right for a pawn push d4 king e7 king c7 if he goes back you also go back king e6 king c6 king e7 d5 now he can he can no longer play king e6 he has to go d8 again he's bringing the king right in front of the pawn so you also bring it right in front of the pawn king e8 king c7 now here you don't have to bring the king right in front of the king because you are able to control the queening square if you're able to control the queening square all other rules you can forget you can you can disregard all other rules if your king is able to control the queening square then nothing can stop the pawn so in this case uh, if you want to maintain the opposition then you should go king e6 that maintains the opposition but since your king is able to control the queen queening square you are allowed to let go of the opposition because now it doesn't matter who has the opposition this pawn cannot be stopped right so let's go to the starting position always remember if you if you have the opposition always move the king opposite direction of what he does if he goes left you go right if he goes right you go left if he goes back you move forward now i'll share the last example if your king is two squares in front of the pawn it does not matter who has the opposition you can forget opposition if your king is two squares in front of the pawn it doesn't matter if you have the opposition or your opponent has the opposition white wins by force he plays if it's blacks uh, if it is white to move he plays d3 if it white if it's white to move then black has the opposition so he plays d3 and gains the opposition if black if it is black to move then white has the opposition so he will simply follow the rule which i mentioned earlier if black goes this way white goes the other way so let's see if uh, let's say it's uh, let's say black has the opposition so it is white to move if it is white to move do not make a king move make the pawn move see you have to make the pawn move so that after you move the pawn uh, after you move the pawn it is black to move and white gains the opposition so the rule is if the king is two squares in front of the pawn and it is your turn to move always 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 move the pawn d3 now it is black to move and white has opposition so king d7 and if he goes back the same rule you go one step forward it doesn't matter which direction because all three moves are winning but it's best to keep the king centralized center just two squares in front of the pawn always remember the king two squares in front of the pawn always wins the game by force you cannot lose this king c7 
he goes left you go right king e6 king c6 two two kings are on the same rank so what do we do we know the rule push the pawn d4 king c7 you should by theory you should go king e7 but but it's fine you you, you should push the pawn it doesn't matter because the king has reached the sixth rank if the king has reached the sixth rank then it becomes even more easier to win the game d5 king d8 he aligned the king right in front of the pawn you do the same thing and gain the opposition by king d6 in this position the only way move is king d6 any other move will help black draw the game king d6 king e8 king c7 and you are now controlling the queening square right so now it doesn't matter what black plays you will simply queen so let's go to the starting position two squares in front of the pawn is winning by force if anybody loses the game <coughs> because even after his king is two squares in front of the pawn he needs to seriously study fundamental end game principles the rule is the same it doesn't matter who has the opposition if black has the opposition white plays d3 and gains the opposition if white has the opposition and black to move he'll just move the king in the opposite direction of the enemy king 